Bowlers are always looking to try to get lined up on the range. You hear it all the time. How do I get lined up? And today, you're going to show us a way that you can do that in just one shot? One shot, Mike. You know, I've always said you don't want to waste practice shots. You only get a, a certain amount of shots before the lights turn on. You have to start keeping score where it counts. So today, we're going to figure out a system on one shot, determine the distance, use that minus 31 formula that they came out with many years ago and then figure out where our break point is, where the ball exits into the pocket. All right, well, I'm going to stop talking. I can't wait to see this. Let's go out and see what one shot looks like. One of the greatest challenges in the sport of bowling is the environment we play in. We have what's called lane conditioning, or as we call it, oil that's applied to the lane, but it's invisible. You can't see where it's applied. You don't know how far it goes down the lane. So today I want to determine some of that and help you out on how to play the lanes to make the game much more easy. If we look out in the lane, I've got uh, three markers, a 15, a 35, and a 45 marker. And as, as the lane is conditioned or oiled for the player, to make the environment either easier or more difficult. It's oiled from the front to the back, but there's a stopping point of the oil, and we call that the exit point of where the ball starts to hook toward the pins. Today, I want to determine how do we figure out that exit point, because that's the secret formula on how to play lanes. Most of the oil today is, is stopped around the, the, those different distances. First thing I want to show you is I'm going to give you a small drill. It's called a one-shot drill on how to determine where to play. And I'm just going to go up there and, and spin the ball. And when it starts to go down the lane, as soon as it makes its break point, we've determined from the foul line to that exit point the distance of the oil. Let's take a look. So as you could see, as the ball made its move, it's started to hook right around this spot here. This is the 45 foot mark. This is where the oil ends on the lane. So the invisible environment, we've got oil from the fall line right to this spot, which is 45 feet. Now in bowling, we have a formula that was developed uh, several years ago, and it's the distance of the pattern, the oil where it stops, minus 31. So we've got about 45 feet, as you can see our markers. If we subtract 31 from that, we're at about board 14 for the exit point. Now, what that means is this is board one, it's the board right next to the gutter. So if we count 14, we're gonna be, we got three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So we want the ball to break right around this area. Now. It could be one or two boards left or right of that, depending on the surface. But this is my goal as I start my practice session after that one shot on how to get, get lined up. I want the ball right in this area at my exit point as it starts to make its move to the strike pocket to get lined up. This is the secret formula on how to get to the strike pocket and score at your highest. Seeing that ball change direction down the lane and that one shot throwing it nice and slow, you really get to see where the break point is. But I do want to ask a question to follow up after watching the video there. Um, do we want to take the rule of 31 literal and is it the exact board out there? No, it's a starting point, Mike. But again, our, our goal here was how do we make every shot count? So it gets us closer to the area. I like to build in plus or minus three. Lanes are all different. You know, a, a Brunswick versus an AMF, you know, one's, one's a little slicker than the other. Uh, the, the type of oils, the machines, the age, uh, the, all of that takes in consideration at plus or minus three. So it's a starting point, but I really believe it minimizes the number of shots we waste to try to figure out where the exit point is at the end of the lane. Absolutely, so we want everybody out there to start this worldwide. Your very first shot in league or tournament, 
just walk up there, see how long the pattern is, and you can start to figure out how you want to spend the rest of your practice from then on out. Hey guys, we are so blessed to have Coach Mike Shady here on the Inside Bowling YouTube channel. Hope you're learning a lot from all of his tips that we're providing for you. And if you did learn something today, please, please hit that like button and make sure you subscribe to our channel to make sure you're informed about all the new tips that'll be coming out. Also, if you'd like to support our channel, you can head over to InsideBowling.com where we do sell some merch. It really does help us out a lot. We got a coupon code for you today. It's YouTube. Type in YouTube, you save 15%. Thanks so much, and we look forward to helping build your game.